Hi, I'm Russ. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to create the background for Google Hangouts. I get a lot of people sending me emails and asking how to create and personalize the background for Google Hangouts. A lot of those join Charlie and I on Scrolling with Charlie Hangouts, uh, 7.30 p.m. Central Time on Saturdays. Uh, we're we're going to show you first in CorelDRAW X7 and then I will show you in Photoshop Element 7. So we're going to come over here and grab the rectangle tool and create a rectangle out on our page. Come up here and make sure the lock ratio box is unclicked. We want to change the width to 8.889. And the height to 5.0, hit enter. We hit our P key that will center our square or a rectangle in the center of the page. Now, this is a representation of what the uh, screen will look like in Google Hangouts. Uh, you're positioned in the middle toward the bottom. And the video feed for all the other participants runs along the bottom of the page also. Just keep that in mind. We'll come over here and get our text tool. You can use whatever text you want. I'm going to choose Cooper Black. Tell it artistic text and paragraph text. Then I like using caps. Uh, once we've created that, come back and select our pick tool. Now we can change this. We'll zoom in. Change the height and the width if we want. Now you can import your logos, which I have done here that I'm going to use. You just simply go over to File, Import, take it to whatever picture you want to use on your Google Hangout. I will upload just another one of my logos, hit Import. Click over here and it'll put it right there on my screen. So now that we have our text, we can also highlight our text. We can change our text to whatever color we want. Change our outline by right clicking. We'll do the outline. Left mouse click. We'll do the fill. And have a a black outline with a blue fill or we can have red with a blue outline. I know it's hard to see the outline but the outline's there. Okay now we just simply take our logos that we have imported we can resize them Put them on our screen. Really, the sky's the limit as far as whatever you want to do and create here. Just remember, it's got to stay within the parameter of this rectangle. And once again, you're in the center toward the bottom, and the video feed runs across the bottom. Now that we've got this the way we want, we're going to select our rectangle again. We're going to come over here and right click. To make the outline of our rectangle visible, we don't want to see that line running around our rectangle. Now we're going to take our cursor and we're going to reach out here and left mouse click, holding it down and drag across, grabbing everything on the page. Remember, including our rectangle that's here with the invisible line. We're going to come up here to File, tell it to Export. We can put this wherever we want to put it, wherever we choose. I'm going to put it on the desktop. I'm going to call it 
test one. We want to change this save type, save as type from a PDF. I'm going to make sure I change this over to a PNG portable network graphics. We're going to click on export. We're going to give our computer a few moments to do the rendering. Make sure that this box right here, transparency, is click. If you see a white background, that is not what you want. You click the transparency and you should see a checkerboard background that is representing that the background of this PNG is going to be invisible, clear, and all we're going to see is the logos and the text that we put on the page. Now we just simply hit OK and it has saved our clear PNG to our desktop. Okay, now we're going to move over to uh, Photoshop Elements 7.0 and continue our tutorial. Okay, we're back and now we are over into uh, Photoshop 7.0. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here to File, come to New, Blank File. We can name our file at this time if we want. Now we want to make sure that our width, this is already set up, but is 2668, and this is changed to pixels, not inches or centimeters. It's, it needs to be pixels. And our height is 1500-1500 pixels, and our resolution is 300. Uh, color mode RGB and then down here it says background contents we want to make sure it is transparent we don't want white or a color we want transparent and we click OK so once again now we have our setup for the size that we need for our screen for Google Hangouts okay, now we can come over here and simply just select our text tool click out on our page Come over here and change. Here's a list of text we have. We can change it to anything we want. Change mine to Cooper Black. And we just type our name. Making sure I like caps. Okay. Go back and select our Move Tool. Now we can come in here to our little boxes. Let me uh, zoom in on this so we can get a little bit better look. Come in here to our little boxes and enlarge this. Take this back to fit the screen. Pick tool. We can move this out to the center. Remember, like we talked before, we're going to be here in the middle and the uh, closer to the bottom. The video feeds across the bottom. Put this just to where we want it on our page, on our screen. The little check mark. There we have it. Now, I've already preloaded again uh, a couple of my logos. It's not hard to do. Just come up here to File. You're working with bitmaps now, so hit Open. Just scroll down here through your, find the one you want, and hit open. And it'll import it in, and then you can just place it down here in the bottom. So now that I have, uh, want to select my logo, double click on it, it's going to bring this logo up here. I'm going to go select all, edit, copy, or you could use control C. I'm going to drop this back down and we can use control V. Okay, now I have my logo out here in the center of the page. I can place it over here for the little rectangles in the corners. I make it larger or small as I want. 
down here and select our other logo double click open it up I'm here to select all and hit control C and we just want to drop this down to the bottom again it'll put it back down here and hit control V come up here to little squares in the corner resize place it to where we want now we have it the way we want it we're going to come up here to file save I'm going to just save it to my desktop. You can change it wherever you want. Uh, I'm going to rename it Hangout. I'm going to make it Hangout 1. Now we need to format to change this. You need to come down here and select PNG. So the format is going to be PNG. And we click Save. Interlace. We want none. Now that one will also be saved to our desktop. I want to thank you for joining me in this tutorial to show you how to create the uh, Google Hangout background. I appreciate you uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you and God bless. Mm -hmm.